Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today, I want to encourage you to stay on fire. I noticed that I've, I've been in the Lord quite a few years now. And when I first came to the Lord, I was pretty enthusiastic and pretty zealous, but didn't have a lot of wisdom. And then I went through a very, very long trial or wilderness experience whereby I still had the zeal and everything in me but you know I couldn't really outwork it and, and uh, properly and stuff like that and God had to deal with a lot of things in my life and I've come into a season now where I'm much more mature in God much more mature in, in my faith and that zeal is still there but also because um, I have been released into certain areas of ministry that I have had been frustrated in and getting into for years. That's also really fueled um, the zeal, the fire in my life, and um, and I think in some ways I feel like I'm more on fire today than I ever have been. But I see other Christians sitting around and they're just going through the motions. There's just no spark in them. There's no life there. It's like they're just you know, there used to be an old TV program, uh, a comedy called Waiting for God, and that just seems like they're, they're waiting till they stick their foot in the grave and things like that, and that's just a terrible way to live. You know, in uh, Matthew chapter 3, verse 11, John the Baptist said this, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that comes after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. There's a parallel verse in Luke 3.16. This is the same, similar thing. You know, we've been, if we're born again of the Spirit, if we've been, uh, believe in Jesus Christ and been born again of the Spirit and baptized in the Holy Spirit, we've been baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. And that fire as a real cleansing, cleansing, purging thing, and it gets rid. Yeah, in the Old Testament, God talked about being He was a consuming fire, and He went before Israel and destroyed the enemies of God. And that fire burns up everything that's an enemy of ours. It says in Hebrews uh, twelve twenty nine, our God is a consuming fire. And and as you you may know in Revelation in the book of Revelation. Uh, Jesus uh, rebuked the church who was really comfortable and really um, doing they were comfortable they were self-satisfied and I guess just going through the motions because they all had what they want because they were more satisfied by this world than, 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 than the things of God and he said I know your works that you are neither cold nor hot I would I would that you were cold or hot so then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot I will spew you out of my mouth but really God doesn't want us cold he wants us hot because he's baptized us with the Holy Ghost and with fire and if we're struggling in that area if we're not if we just ho-hum about our faith that we're, we're in a really dangerous position and even our salvation could be in danger so we need to get, you know, stir up the gift that's in us, Paul said to Timothy. We need to stir up, we need to stir those coals and get that fire burning again. You know, we need to be crying out to God and, and praying for that hunger and for that fire of God. You know, our nations, our lives, our churches, our nations need an outpouring of the Holy Spirit like never before. And so we need to be hungry for that. Not afraid of it, but hungry for it. The safest place that you and I can be is as close, as close to God as we can possibly be. We need to be getting into the Word. We need to be meditating on it so that we know how much God loves us and how much He loves others. And and that fire causes us to want to, to serve God, to serve Jesus and do the things that He's gifted us for. So that's my encouragement for you today. It's to keep that fire burning. 
If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. And then he has promised it. When you believe in him, the Father will send another comforter, it says in John 14. And that's the Holy Spirit. And he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And get rid of all the stuff out of your life that's not helpful. But give you a zeal to love and help others. God bless you. Have a great day.